Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Operator Terminal Expert. I'm your host, Jan Romada, and in this video, what we're going to see is the how we can add or delete users from the HMI while we are in running from the HMI. So uh, let's go to the application. So I haven't tested it. Uh, I believe I've worked with this before. So I believe. So let's go over here. So the first thing after we select the target, we just need to enable the security things. Okay. And here we just need to select the users. Okay. So I'm going to add a group. This group is going to be the level 10. It's going to be admins. Okay. Not focus about the web viewer. This is how to enable it, but don't focus on that. So I'm going to add a user for this group. It's going to be LTA, description, and group class. And the password is going to be LTA also. And let's add another group, upper, uppers. Okay, and they have the user five. And let's add pepito and password pepito okay so i have two users with two different levels so we can download this and then we can make some kind of interlock a few things blah, 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 that we have already talked about this so in visual design what we have is a object that is for um management of the users here we don't have that option. Um, so if we go to screen and if we uh, password complex is enabled, so just wait. <laughs> Disable. Yes. Bear in mind that, that if the it's not complex, it's much easier to hack. That's all. You need to know that. So. Um, if we go to the screen and we go to tools, we should be able to see that there is nothing about um, users as we have in Visual Designer because here it works differently. And differently doesn't mean that it's wrong at all. So what we can do is to have a switch. So this switch I'm going to use this login. I'm going to text oops, login. Login. Control C, Control V, logout. Logout. out press not out and inside here I need to access we just need to go to script and for example when touch touch over here the object variable is gonna be uh, screen uh, option oh, my God graphic object dot login because it's the button and when it's, this one is press what well, we need to do is to go to the system security and then we have the login control c control b object dot logout and here spoiler alert logout so we have these two things. So this will allow me to see, to have the access to the, to the system. So if we go, oops, we go here, screen, we should be able to find the user level function, uh, target one, Let's see if it's in here. 
security level. Security level, activate details. It's gonna add just the level. We can add the username and everything, but let's focus on the levels. So if we go here and simulate this, do I simulate? You should be able to log in and log out. Wait for it to finish. This is the other screen. So if you go here, log in, log out. But what we have done here in the script, login, is not just a login. We just need to open the system login dialog. And you have saw that we have other things in there. Because that one is when you have the variables already assigned to login. So if we press login, you have the users and here LTA, LTA, enter login and level 10. Log out. Repito. Repito. Login level 5. So this is fine. Now if we want to change this so users management and GNT. so i'm gonna switch i recommend you to use the word switch otherwise you're not going to know it's going to be the upshot and here we can define uh user and gmt user management so now that we have this one we can go to script and in the script we have now another one that is related to graphic object dot switch user management and instead of login the pop-up we just need to use add user so we have the pop-up message for the data so screen user management device um device simulation is very fine so here are complex user group I don't have anything because uh, I didn't log in, so I'm not able to do anything over here. So, the important thing here is to block this. So, user management, let's go to the security level that only one specific group is going to be the administrators have access to it. So, if we simulate again, device simulate. You should be able to see the lock on the bottom. Uh, why allows me to do that? Because I need to use the interlock. What interlock? Mm. should use a bit over here instead of that otherwise it will enable it okay I thought it's gonna be fine let me see if it's something else missing Do -do 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 -do. show security outcome Okay, so here on the script, let's see if there is something else. Click. So 
going to be click or press or press. Let's see if we have the same behavior now. Yes, I have. Hmm. Okay, so the operation is not blocked by that. So in that case, I will produce an interlock. Target. Uh, security level. One way converter here. We need to add a converter. So range C security interlock. So it's gonna be that the type boolean. So when this range is then it's gonna be true and else false. So here we need to use this uh, converter interlock. Let's see if it works. Okay. Maybe it's the other way around. Just wanted to test that. It's the other way around. Yeah. So this one is false. True. So when it's true, that enabled the interlock. Um, so interlock the state show. Uh, device simulate once again. Okay, good. So now you can see that I'm pressing this and there is no pop up message. And I have this interlock over here. So if I log in and use Pepito, that is going to be the same because they cannot access. Good, but it's going to be different if I use my level LTA. Login now. I can access, and here I had the possibility to select which group enter the last name. So here's going to be um, oh no, uh, Argentina, and this password Argentina. Argentine. So add or group. So now I'm going to log out. You can see I can have access. Login. Argentina. Argentine. And I have level five. Okay, which is good. Now I've already add a new user. How we can disable it or delete one. So here we have user management. And probably here it's going to be good to add the button add because here we have the possibility to add only so shape release add okay add i'm going to add another one to delete Delete. Delete. So here, delete. And if you go to script once again, we have this. Control C, Control V. It was going to show that delete. Okay, good delete and here delete user dialog so script screen now i have the add button and the delete users so device simulate i'm not sure if the argentine is going to be there the one i have created let's see 
isn't because I have simulated again. So LTA LTA login. Now let's add the admin triple A triple A triple A add and add another one it's gonna be upper BBB 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 Add So let's add AAA -A -A. I don't know if it's going to be admin or not I don't remember Yes So log in again with BBB BBB Log in Fine, you can see I cannot access So let's log in with uh, a a a a a a login now i'm going to delete and from here you have the possibility to delete operations you cannot delete yourself right now so you can see if i in admins i'm able to delete the aaa only the lta so it's gonna be lta lta login delete and it's going to be aa so now i'm going to operators delete bb yes and now if i log in as a bbb bbb login is no longer available so this is how we can work with the security settings or security uh, management in operator terminal expert in the past we have an option that we can add and drag and drop into the system here we work differently okay in operator terminal expert so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one